In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create a simple jQuery mobile page. We'll cover page construction and we'll also cover navigation, showing you how to link to subpages. So we'll start off by creating a new blank document and then we'll save it onto the server. And in the public HTML folder, I'm going to create a special folder for this particular jQuery mobile application. I'm going to call this one CV. So I go into the CV folder and I shall call this index.html, like so. Now to save time, I've created a snippet which gives me the basic jQuery mobile page structure. So here we have a standard header. All I've got to change is the title of the page. So in this case, I call it my CV. And everything else stays exactly the same. And as you can see, the files are coming off a content versioning system. <clears throat> now onto the body. Now, the first page is a standard jQuery mobile page, and I've created a snippet for that one as well. And as you can see, I have a page div and a closing page div. I then have a header div, a content div, and a footer div. So I'll change the header on this page to be my CV. The content we'll deal with in a little while, and the footer is going to be my name, like so. And that's the first page now done. So let's have a quick look at it in the web browser. And there's my first page, which is called index dot html like so <clears throat> okay so we've now got our basic page my next job <coughs> is to create a list of links on the home page so in the content i'm going to put an ordered list and some list items sort of things you'll find on the CV. And if I save that, <coughs> refresh the page, you'll see I've just got an ordinary list. But that should be an unordered list. Like so. Now the magic source is I'm going to change the data role of that particular list. So ul data role equals list view. If I now refresh the page, I've now got my links as proper mobile smartphone application style lists. <coughs> so that's the first step. The next thing I'm going to do is connect the personal details to connect the education section to another sub-page. So for each of these, I'm going to put a link in. Like so. And now these turn into links, which don't actually go anywhere at the moment. <coughs> so obviously you're going to connect all the links together. In this example, I'm going to create a second page. So I go to the end of the first page div. Two body tags aren't helping. And I'm going to insert a second page. So there's my second page. Of mess there. Um, don't need the extra body tags in there. As you can see, data roll page, data roll back button true. This one I'm going to give an ID of equal to education, like so. And that's going to identify the page. 
So now I can click, I can change this link to point to education, like so. So I'll change the header as well. This is going to be education. Let's go into my name again. And the content will leave like that for the moment. <clears throat> now if I refresh the page and I click on education, you can see I go to the next page. I click on the back button, it takes me back to my first page. Okay, I could put a transition on there if I wanted to, to make it more interesting. And there's lots of transitions you can choose from. But in this education section, <clears throat> I'm going to create another list for the different parts of my education. So in this one, I'm going to take the same list again. Uh, we'll call that one school. University. And postgraduate. And we'll lose that last link. And of course the idea is that you'll link those to different pages which show more details about your education. <coughs> Refresh the page again. Education. I can now have an extra set of links which I can link to different pages. And that's how you create a very simple jQuery mobile web page.